Hello everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and I thought today we would go over my fragrances. Now I'm going to talk about a few that I purchased when I was living at the rental house and you know what I think about them after I've worn them now for a while. And then I've got the box, let me see, yeah, I'm at a different place. I'm going to see how the lighting is here and we'll just go with it. I thought we would just switch it up some. Then we're going to unpack this box that has been packed up since we moved from our other house. Probably what, I don't know, eight, November is when we moved. The first one is the Dolce & Gabbana number three. I will not even try to pronounce that. Oh, it is good. I saw it at the top of the box and I pulled it out and wore it one day and I liked it because, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to not like them because I'm wanting to get rid of some things and just keep what I like. This one is sweet. It's got a little bit of a fruity smell. I don't know the notes. I'm not going to go into the notes. I'll list everything down below. I'm just going to purely tell you my opinion, but I think it's sweet, fruity, but very sophisticated. It's not like a, what is that scent they come out with every year? And I always loved them so much, but they don't last. I can't remember. I'll have to put the name down here, but so I really like this. I love the simplicity of the bottle. I love the color. It smells like it might have a little bit of like I don't know. I'm thinking peach, and then I was thinking strawberry. I'm not sure, but just a winner. So here is one I just got not too long ago. It's the Valentino. I think it's called Voce. I'm not sure, but I know it's the Lady Gaga. And I bought this one day just randomly in Ulta, and I remember liking it. Okay. Yeah, this one has a little bit of a deeper smell than that, but still really pretty. And this one reminds me of like walking into a department store. It's kind of got that Christmassy shopping scent like that. Oh, it smells good. So this is definitely, I'm going to say a keeper and I'll just decide when I, that's what I always do. And that's what I recommend you do too. Don't pressure yourself the first time that you're going through things and think, oh, I've got to pick everything right now. Go through them once. That's what I did with my makeup. I mean, I went through that makeup probably, I think three times. And then I'm going through it now. Like today I used bare skin pigment from Bare Minerals on my eyes. And I was thinking, oh, this is so good. I haven't worn this in so long. So it's a keeper. Fire Island. Hands down, the best beach scent you will ever have. I mean, if you like Bobby Brown Beach, this is Bobby Brown Beach to the 10th degree, not only in the sophistication of the scent, but the lasting. I have worn this, I have to admit, I grabbed this out to wear it, but it lasts all day and it just is that copper tone beach smell all day long, but in the most like sophisticated, pretty way. It's not like you're wearing, because sometimes I think, well, if every, you know, perfume is reminding me of the beach and reminding me of sunscreen, then why don't you just wear sunscreen? But it's not, it's got, you know, some other notes in it that keep it from being like just pure sunscreen, but it keeps that, note that just reminds you of the beach. It's not salt spray. It's not gardenia. It is the beach and it is fabulous. I just cannot say enough good about this. So speaking of Bobbi Brown Beach, this is the hand and body lotion. A perfect way to try the Bobbi Brown Beach because I actually, here, I actually really like this. Almost almost more than the scent because I feel like, you know, they tell you to layer it. Oh, it'll last if you layer it. If you use the shower gel, the, the lotion, the powder, and then the scent. Well, who wants to do that? Put this on your legs and it just, oh, it smells good. And I will say 
you know, some scents, when you get the lotion version, it's not the same. It's got like a funky, I don't know, just a different, just a, a different tone or a different scent to it. But this is really good. So I'm putting it on my legs now and arms. Oh, it just smells so good. But I would say the best bang for your buck and the best way to try it would be, hello Chanel, is the lotion or the fragrance. I do like the fragrance. It just doesn't last a long time. It's actually a good one just to keep in your purse or your car because it's one you can put on a lot. And it's one of those you can kind of just, you know, all over and it's not going to be too much. Whereas this, is true to bond number nine. It's not going to be something you just, you just need one or two of this. Chanel is funny. You know, when we first moved here, I guess they were a little bit upset or whatever, and their appetites weren't quite what they had been. And I feed them the same amount, you know, in the morning, and then I feed them in the afternoon, and then they get wet food. At night, now, they're all kind of acclimated and everything, and she wants some more. She's getting back to her old appetite, so she has been circling me like a shark, but it is not time for them to be fed, so. Okay, this is something I just bought not too long ago. It is the New Blessed. It is the version of New West, which is probably my favorite one of my favorite fragrances of all times, it's from the 90s. I used to waitress back then and bartend, and I am serious, nothing got the compliments that that fragrance did. And it lasted all day. My mom wore it. Brooke loves the scent because it reminds her of when she was little. And it's just very, very, very unique. So to be able to find this that is like the New West is amazing. And I love it. It's strong. This is, to me, I would say almost, I hate to say just as good because you always want the original, but this is just so good. I really think you'd like it. And I will say, New West had these colors too. I will say that is my most worn, most purchased fragrance of all times is New West. Like that is something I would go through bottle after bottle. Juicy Couture, this is just a classic. Now this is Juicy, Viva La Juicy. This is the second one that came out. I loved the first one. Let me just, I'm gonna be smelling good up here. I'm not gonna spray it on myself, but I wanna, oh, it's just, this is just, like, I don't know. This gives me butterflies. This just smells so pretty, sexy, fresh, young. It's not a grandma scent at all. And when I say that, I don't mean anything by it. I could be a grandma. I'm not saying it in a bad way. When I say grandma, I think of like my grandma used to wear Charlie or, you know, um, those deeper scents or like a, you know, Chanel number no. five or something like that. It's not like that. But this lasts well too, and it's just it's just good. It is just like if you ha had a friend and you wanted to get them a fragrance and you wanted to just try something, this would be like something good to try because it's just got a little bit of a deepness to it, some fruity and some floral. It's just good. If you don't like cuss words, you might want to check back with me in like three minutes. But this is something I saw on, I think I got this from either Urban Outfitters or I think I got it from Revolve. And you can't deny that the name grabs you. And it's Hydrating Body and Hair Elixir, Almond Sandalwood. It smells so good and it's kind of like a comforting, it's very, very, very light. Matter of fact, I mean, I don't, I used to use it as like a room spray because it doesn't, it's not enough to really give you any good vibes. And I don't know if it does this to bad vibes, but it's just, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it. I just don't think it's like ingredients, water, rose water, organic aloe, glycerin, and fragrance oil blend. I think I was just curious. <sighs> Classic bronze goddess. You guys, I am going to smell like you know what. Oh my goodness. If you have not ever tried bronze goddess, you have got to. 
it is like Bobby Brown Beach or like the Bond Number no. 9 Fire Island with gardenia mixed into it. And I love gardenia. I have tried the Marc Jacobs gardenia and it was just too plain. Just beautiful. I will always recommend Bronze Goddess. This is the Bronze Goddess again. I must have... Okay, so this is Eau de Parfum, and this is the Eau Fresh. Okay, so this is going to be the deeper one. Let's... Okay, this smells totally different. I remember, I think I've had that longer than I've had this. I remember when I got this being somewhat disappointed because it's not the same. It, it's almost like they replaced the gardenia smell with a gourmand smell. And I just don't like it as much. So this one, I think I might share with someone. This is the one, one of the last ones that I got. It's the Salt Eau de Parfum. I'm scared to spray this one because I remember this one is very different. What? I have had something like this. And I'm not sure what it is in here. It's not like patchouli or anything like that. Someone said it reminds them of like Juliet has a gun. Evidently that's like a, a real popular fragrance. But it's got, there is just something so unique about this. I would almost say it is unisex and it has, is it, I know what it is. It almost, it, it might, this might be wrong. But does it smell a little bit like Abercrombie and Fitch, like the store used to smell? Let me know in the comments if that's what I'm thinking of. But it is so unique. I love the bottle. I mean, and look, it's got the magnet with the crest on top. It's just pretty. And I, I just think the bottle matters. Like as much as I like that this looks or smells like New West, I mean, you know, I, it's kind of like I don't like that bottle that much. This is the Armani My Way. This is kind of like along with the Juicy Couture and those like that. It's like, okay, it's sweet and this one is a little bit more, I think of like a woman with um, Bermuda, like navy blue Bermuda shorts and a nice crisp white shirt with flats. Kind of like um, a Michael Kors ad or something like that. That's what I think of when I smell this scent. I think of someone that's very pretty but kind of preppy. Does that make sense? Yes. It is the Coney Island by Bond Number no. 9. I believe this one, you know, Bond Number no. 9 is one of my favorites. This one is like a fresh smell. It's probably like a citrus smell. It's not my favorite, but all Bond Number no. 9 scents just, I'm telling you, we I went there when I was, the first time I ever went to New York, we went to the like boutique, and I think one of these in here I got there. And you have to be careful because when you come out of there, I mean, I think Sheila was sneezing. She had to walk outside while I was purchasing it. They're intense, but they're good intense, and they last forever. So this one's going to just go on the maybe because I've got so many other ones and um, I'd like to share. Okay, this, I've got two honorable mentions that will, one of them pertains to this, but this is the Scent of Peace by Bond Number no. 9, right up there with the Fire Island. It is fresh. It's almost like a scent I wouldn't think I would like, but it's just kind of like the others. You know, it's like a fresh scent done wrapped in softness and pretty and good vibes. And I believe this is even a unisex scent. I just love it. It just brings back great feelings and I just really like it. I love the bottle too. Look at here, we've got Bobby Brown Beach Eau de Parfum. I can't remember, is it all Eau de Parfum or is there a spray, like a toilette? I can't remember, but I mean, there's no doubt about it. I'm keeping that. And does that tell you anything? Oh my goodness. I love you. This is the Marie Louise number four Bois de Ballancourt. I got this for my mom. 
smells totally different than anything I have sprayed here today. I do not know what the different note is in it. It is so comforting. I've had the lotion in this. I have had the soap in this. Everything. I love You know, Mason Louise, they also do like that Baccarat that everybody loves so much and you know a lot of other fragrances but this one is not too heavy it's not too light it lasts it's one that you can spray like up underneath your hair if you wanted to it's just beautiful it's beautiful here arizona this is one i i think i read about it in a magazine or maybe on instagram it was an ad and it's by stella no it's by present proenza schooler i was thinking stella mccartney but and it's very unique. It's It reminds me of New West, not really because it smells like New West, but it has that just kind of body to it, like New West does, like it's full bodied. It's, do I sound like I'm uh, drinking wine or describing wine? Maybe so, but I love it. I love it, not going anywhere. Sexy, this is kind of a sexy scent, I like it. Speak of the Devil. This is the Mason Baccarat 540. This is the Scented Hair Mist. I barely remember getting this. I think I got this shortly before we moved. And my friend Denise had sent me, you know you can buy this like in the three little sample sizes? She sent me one of those and I remember thinking, I know why people love this. It's fabulous, but it was so strong. So I think the reason I got the hair mist, <laughs> oh gosh, okay. This is very similar to something. I, the Juicy. I think it was reminding me a little bit of the Juicy or one of those because it's got like that. Nope, it's reminding me of, gosh, it's reminded me of that salt a little bit. Whatever is in that that's so different, it's reminded me a little bit of that and a little bit of the gourmand that I said is in this. Wow, this smells good. This is one of those that gives you those butterflies too. Like, it is just like you're getting ready to go out. Wow. Okay, so I would recommend this if you are curious because you'll see people do, you know, videos and, you know, blog posts and everything about this scent, but I will tell you the original is strong. I would only wear it on a crisp day when I was not going to be. I've told you guys about that time I went to mom's group. <laughs> it was when Brooke was little and I was in this mom's group. I hope I haven't told you, but I'll tell you again. And it was one of those that I really only knew one mom, but she was in this group and she got me, you know, into it. And what you would do is two moms would keep the group every Tuesday at the church and the other moms would have like, I think it was two or three hours to go run errands, go to Walmart, you know, do everything. Well, one day it was my turn and, you know, I was dressed up and everything and I had just gotten... Chanel Chance. I believe it was Chanel. It was a Chanel fragrance, but I think it was Chance. And I was sitting there talking to the girl. I'll never forget her name was Melissa. And she started kind of coughing. And then she got where, you know, she couldn't catch her breath. And she said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, and she felt terrible, but she said, I think I'm just like maybe allergic to your perfume. And she had to sit at the opposite side of the room for the rest of the time that we kept the children. <laughs> And I felt so bad because I understood and I know I've never been one to put too much of something on. I always do like one or two sprays, but you know, that's a strong fragrance and it hit her just wrong. Okay, this you is a Tom Ford that I think I bought um, not too long ago and I can't remember. I think, does this come out and you replace it? Oh gosh, this is another cuss word, but this is the... I forgot I even had that. It's the effing fabulous. What a marketing, what a marketing tool that is because I'm not a person who says that all the time, but I'm not, I don't get freaked out. I think it just grabs your attention. 
but I can't even remember what this smells like and I don't know if I'll be able to tell since I've sprayed so much. This must be unisex because I would not say it's pretty. I would not really even say it's fresh. It's just kind of different. I'll have to, I'm gonna keep this. I'll have to wear this and see how it makes me feel. I'm not like loving it. So it, it's, you know, it could be one that disappears. <laughs> okay, oh, another beach scent. This is the Tom Ford, okay, another thing. Tom Ford fragrances. Right up there with Bond Number no. 9, House of Sillage, um, the ones that are just no joke, the ones that last, maybe Creed, um, you know, those that are just, they're serious. They're not ones that you buy a teenager, you know what I mean? It's just, that's how Tom Ford fragrances are to me. So this is the Soleil Blanc and... My, I think I need some coffee beans to like clear my sniffer. I can't even really, it's light. If I had to say it would be like Bobby Brown Beach, but I know that it is stronger than that. So I will, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to put, of course, list it down below, read the notes, but I know I like it. It's just, I can't smell it now. Oh, the rose prick. I am not even, my friend Barbara gave this to me. Chanel's gonna start trying to get on my nerves so that I'll, you know, she wants my attention. You know, like kids, bad attention is better than no attention. Chanel, Chanel. Oh my goodness, that's sassy. Sassy girl. They're all feeling froggy up here. So anyway, rose prick, just one of the most beautiful rose scents Ever. Not bathroom smelling, not grandma smelling, just beautiful. The okay, okay, I might have this all wrong. This is probably the beach scent. And so Le Blanc is something different. Okay, Neroli Portofino. It's beachy but in a citrusy way. Not the same as Bobby Brown Beach or any of those. I'm not, oh, there's a UPS guy and he's stopping here. It's not anything that I, I don't feel crazy about it. I'll have to, I'm going to have to like smell these again. Okay, this went on my Mason Louise. Sorry if I'm getting too close. That goes on there and I like them to be pretty. Let's see what that box looks like. It almost looks like a vitamin box for John. Okay, this is the wood sage and sea salt. You can't go wrong with Jo Malone. A good thing to do is to buy their sample sets and then you can find like which ones you like. They can be strong, like this one, Honeysuckle and Davana. I think I got this from my mom. It can be strong. It's very sweet and floral. The wood sage and sea salt, mm, I can see, I can go ahead and spray it on right now. I know I like it. It is, it's kind of got like a masculine boyfriend undertone, but not in a bad way. It's still pretty and fresh. Nothing's gonna smell good on me right now. I've got to quit doing that. I really like the Whispers collection. This is House of Siage. These, the first time I ever saw them was on the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Camille Grammer was having a party and she was featuring these in some way. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, they're so pretty, oh my gosh. And then I was with Sheila or maybe I was even with might have been when I was with Makeup by Tiffany D, Tiffany, that I walked into a big, nice department store, maybe it was in Atlanta, and they sold this. It was right to the right when we walked in the department store, and it's just like, oh, you know. And so, you know what? I must have another box of fragrances somewhere, unless in there is the Mojave. What is the one I bought from that one... It's that other fragrance line. 
because I remember I bought one when I was with Tiffany that day. So if I find another box, we will do this again. And I actually have some new ones that I'm going to probably share with you on Friday. Anyway, okay, this is the House of Siage, and this is Whispers of Enlightenment. And I believe this is the one that has a little bit of a... Let me walk over here just for a minute. Yeah, this one is just a little bit more fruity and a little lighter than the other scents. But I really need, by this point, I need some coffee grounds to, or coffee beans. Okay, this one, this one is Tierra Eau de Parfum. And I'm just not going to be able to tell you at this point. I know this one is deeper. Oh my God, is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous. And these last all day of course and oh yeah this is another whispers the ones that have the floral top this one I think smells a little bit like strawberry I'm not sure I might just be saying that this one is whispers of admiration I will try to put down below because I feel bad that I can't even smell anymore I think this one is a little sweeter but just gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous, like an ultimate gift. They are, you know, expensive, but they're beautiful. They're like Swarovski crystals, and they're just gorgeous. So that is this box of fragrance. Now, my honorable mentions are these two candles that I have been downstairs. You know, I've got my Amazon rosemary candle because that, to me, is home. That, to me, is my house. I just... The kids like it, John likes it, that's just our home. But upstairs, I got this out when we moved here, put it in my little office here, and it was a Christmas gift, and it smells exactly like the fragrance. It is just, you know, spot on. There's nothing different about it, and not only when you burn it does it smell up the whole upstairs, even having the lid off keeps my room smelling like this, so fresh. So if you want to try bond number nine and you want maybe a, a little bit of an inexpensive, it's still gonna be expensive, but you know what I mean, not as expensive as those. And bond number nine is always so good about giving the bonbons, the little um, fragrance samples that are wrapped like a little piece of candy, but love that, love it, love it. And this candle that my friend Tessa sent me, I probably would have never picked this candle. It is the Veluspa Milk Rose Hand Poured Cocoa Wax Candle, and it's this great big one. Look at how clean this candle burns. It smells so good. It has the most, I guess it's the, I probably have never really picked anything with the milk scent, but what was it the other day that I said smelled so good and it had the milk in it? Oh, it was that cleanser that I got from Freeze Co. Beauty. It's just such a comforting scent. And that's how this is. It smells so good. It, this, this is probably one of the most non-offensive smells ever. I, I can't imagine anyone not liking this. And it has the lid. I just keep it beside it. I put the little lighter on top of it. And it's just fabulous so definitely a winner so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this i didn't think about that this spot is not going to have a good place for me to show you my outfit i have on this outfit that i got at walmart it's one of my favorites and i'm going to wear my new shoes with it that is about this color so i will just film a little bit and add it to the end of this and my accessories are the miranda fry the two bracelets this is just a good little set for me. I just like it. And the necklace that goes with it, the charm. And I will put everything down below because you buy the pendant separately and then you pick a chain. And I actually really love this chain. You can do it shorter, but I like it on the longest. And it's just really pretty. So thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I have always loved fragrances. I can remember, you know, when the Avon, Avon lady would come and bring, you know, the samples and then my mom would buy me some of those. And then do you guys remember like Love's Baby Soft, Exclamation, and all of those. I just, I've always loved scents. And then when I was in high school, this is, I love how when you start talking about something, memories come back. But when I was in high school, 
and I would be getting ready for a date, it was always special. Like my mom sometimes would let me wear one of her sweaters or something like that. And she would let me use some of her Giorgio. Do you guys remember that? The Giorgio and it smelled so good. So I've always loved fragrance. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.